everybody has really curly eyelashes or they have eyelashes that are going in different directions for example see this one is kind of going to the right so when i'm gonna try to glue the eyelash i'm gonna grab and when i dip it in the glue right i'm gonna instead of trying to glue it all the way to the side like this i'm gonna glue it more um, instead of gluing it on top because i can't really get it on top because her eyelash is going that way i'm gonna glue it to the side and that's okay and my goal is for the base to be attached which is that part compared to the tip okay it's okay if the tip is not attached it'll still last her and again so i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna find I'm going to find another lash I want to place on, right? So same thing with that one. Now if I want to glue it, I can go. Again, I'm going to glue it on top, but I'm only going to glue the base. And I'm going to kind of see if it's going to dry straight. Okay? So that's how we redirect an eyelash if their eyelashes are growing in a few different directions. And let's say this one is really curly, right? This one's not that curly, but if a client has really curly eyelashes and I'm going to come and I'm going to try to glue it right on top, right? Sometimes I can't do that because her curl of her natural lash is getting in the way. So it's okay to come and glue it underneath her natural eyelash. It will actually be a lot easier for you to try to bond it there compared to on top, okay? That's going to make your life a lot easier.